Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Paulio Jr. Uh, and in today's video, um, this is going to be very brief, but this is what you would do once um, when, when you are making a Whole Foods delivery for Amazon Flex. So today, and just this is basically how to not get sent back <laughs> to Amazon, <laughs> to the station if you, if you do get done early. So today I had a 12 p.m. to 2 p.m. shift. Now, um, obviously I have the person's name blurred out here. So I had a 12 to 2, and I actually didn't arrive till closer to 12, and I've actually been done for about 15 minutes now. And I'm really close to home, and I really don't want to go back out to Whole Foods and do another delivery because if, I guarantee at least every time I'm more than at least an hour ahead of time, I will get sent back to Whole Foods. So to prevent that from happening, what I do, um, you know, especially if I'm really close to home, if I'm right next to Whole Foods, yeah, sure, I'll go back. Um, but if I'm closer to home, like, no, I'm done. I went to Whole Foods, I picked up everything. So on, this is the last um, drop off. So all I did, um, so where it says, where are you leaving the package? You would just select the person's name or whatever, you know, uh, just select the person's name or the front door. And then from there, um, just leave it on this screen and that's it. Don't swipe to finish. Don't do anything like that. And therefore, um, you're still technically working. Uh, you know, you're still technically on the clock and, but you're not getting, uh, but you most likely will not get sent back to, um, to whole foods. Now, the only thing that you can't do is you have to leave it on the screen. Once you go to, if you go to offers and then go back, then, uh, you are going to have to be at the actual, uh, location because you can't hit the option, uh, help. I'm not at a, you know, I'm at the, the house, but my GPS isn't working when you're so many miles away. Like, yeah, that'll work if you're relatively close, like within at least doing the Whole Foods, at least like 0.3 miles, something like that. But um, yeah, that's that's really it. This is just what I do when I do not want to get sent back to Whole Foods when I'm finished. If I have back-to-back -back shifts, it's not a big deal. But let's just say I have a 12 to two, I want to be done, uh, I don't want to go back uh, this is exactly what I do. So I just leave it on the screen, wait a little bit, um, at least get till, I at least try to get till, uh, past, um, you know, where it's under an hour. So like I said, if it's a 12 to two, I at least don't want to swipe to finish until after one o'clock after my last delivery, um, making sure that I do not get sent back to, um, to Whole Foods to do more deliveries. Now, sometimes it might be beneficial because you're going to get more tips and so forth. Um, but as far as the driving aspect, I really don't feel as though um, it's really worth it. So that's just my two cents. I hope you guys enjoy the video. It's very short, very brief. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one later.